Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Good morning. Good evening. Welcome to Passion Church. We are so excited to worship, to minister to you all. Um, we welcome you today. Um, and as we start our worship, um, we uh, say hi to all of our family, friends, and uh, those who we um, speak about the love and the mercy and the grace of God um, all over the world. We welcome you. And if we can just ask you to share, to like, to heart, to comment um, on our webpage, that would be wonderful. Now I ask you all to um, worship with us, enjoy this wonderful time as we praise and thank God. Amen. <laughs> Welcome to everyone. Welcome uh, for everyone in Passion Church right now, for those in uh, the UK and also for those international. But before we stop, I just want to offer a simple prayer uh, for each and every one of us as we settle ourselves, as we get ourselves ready to glorify and worship the Lord for today. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you for today, Lord God. We thank you for the mighty things that you keep on doing for us, Lord God that lord um, that we are separated by physical contact but father god we are being united in spirit for today lord jesus father god we thank you for the amazing day that is about to come oh lord god lord as we ready ourselves and our hearts and our spirits in worshiping you lord god father god let no distraction come unto us and father god let us just help us oh lord uh, with your spirit to just put you in the center lord god right now and uh, we're gonna have that full heart of worship father god into praising your name, into glorifying your name, because this is the day, oh Lord God, of your revival in our hearts and our family, Lord God. Father God, um, let your spirit be with us right now, oh Lord God. Empower us with your love, empower us with your protection, oh Father God. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen. amen. Hallelujah. All glory belongs to you, Father God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessing on a strength and power Yours alone and now forever A love is one can never stop There is no one like our God Reaching down to touch the broken Mercy breaking through this moment Faithful is the one who saves, worthy is your name. Oh God, the glory is yours, the kingdom must come and the battle is over. Jesus, in your name we rise, the glory is yours, the glory is yours. Oh God, the glory is yours, the kingdom must come and the battle is over. Jesus, in your name we rise, the glory is yours, the glory is yours. Thrones and angels watch in wonder And on that day when time is over And every heart I last proclaim Worthy is your name Oh God, the glory is yours The kingdom has come and the battle is over Jesus, in your name we rise The glory is yours, the glory is yours Oh God, the glory is yours, the kingdom must come and the battle is over. Jesus, in your name we rise, the glory is yours, the glory is yours. Oh God, the glory is yours, the kingdom must come and the battle is over. Jesus, in your name we rise, the glory is yours, the glory is Right now, I just want to declare this right now in our hearts and in our houses right now. For there is no one like him. Nobody beside you. There has never been anyone, anything like you. Nobody beside you. There has never been anyone, anything like you. Nobody beside you. There has never been anyone, anything like you. Nobody beside you, there has never been anyone, anything like you. Nobody beside you, there has never been anyone, anything like you. Nobody beside you, there has never been anyone, anything like you. Oh God, the 
glory is yours, the kingdom has come, the battle is over. Jesus, in your name we rise, the glory is yours, the glory is yours. Oh God, the glory is yours, the kingdom has come, and the battle is over. Jesus, in your name we rise, the glory is yours, the glory is yours. You. There will never be anyone, anything like you. Nobody beside you. There must never be anyone, anything like you. Nobody beside you. There must never be anything, anything like you. Hallelujah, Jesus. The glory belongs to you, Father God. Amen. We thank you, O oh God. We will continue to declare that you are great, that your power and glory and the majesty and the splendor of your name all over this world, O oh God. We praise you and thank you. Our God. What are you turning to wine? Open the eyes of the blind, there's no one like you, none like you. Into the darkness you shine, out of the ashes we rise, there's no one like you, none like you. Our God is greater, our God is stronger, God you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power, our God, our God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, O oh God. Into the darkness you shine Out of the ashes we rise There's no one like you Oh, none like you Yes, Lord! Our God is greater Our God is stronger God, you are higher than any other Our God is healer Awesome in power, our God, our God, yes, Lord, our God. Our God is greater, our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power, our God, our God. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? could stand against and if our God is for us then who could ever stop us and if our God is with us then what could stand against and if our God is for us then who could ever stop us and if our God is with us then what could stand against Our God is greater, our God is stronger, God you are higher than any other, our God is healer, he's healer, awesome in power, our God, hallelujah Lord, yes oh God, we declare your strength, our God is greater, our God is greater, God you are higher than any other, our God is Awesome in power, our God, our God. Our God is greater, our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, 
awesome in power, our God, our God. Yes, oh Lord, glory to your name. You are great and sovereign, oh Lord. There is no one like you. There is no God but you. We will continue to lift your name. We will continue to declare and proclaim to this world, Lord, nothing is impossible in you, Lord. Nothing, no sickness that you cannot heal. Lord, you are our great healer. You are our great provider. You are our strength. You are our hope. You are great. <laughs> Words are not enough to describe who you are, oh Lord. Cause you are a great God He is an awesome, wonderful God Mighty in power Author of wisdom Better than life Cause He is great Cause He is a great
your name, O oh God. You are great and awesome. You always fulfill your covenant to your people, O oh God. We will continue to thank you, praise you, exalt you, O oh God, and lift you to the highest place. Lord, you minister to us, O oh God, as we worship you. As we worship you, you answer our prayers. As we worship you, you are pleased. My prayer is that as we do, you continue to open the eyes and block the ears, change the hearts of those who listen, oh God, so that they too will know who you really are, your love, your mercy, your forgiveness, your provision, your protection over us, oh God. We praise you. God created by human hands. You are not a God dependent on any mortal man. You are not a God in need of anything we can give by your plan. That's just the way it is. You are not a God created by human hands. You are not a God dependent on any mortal man. You are not a God in need of anything we can give by your plan. That's just the way it is. Hallelujah. You are God alone from before time began. You are on your throne. You are God alone. And right now, in the good times and bad, you are on your throne. You are God. You're the only God whose power none can contend. You're the only God whose name and praise will never end. You're the only God who's worthy of everything we can give. You are God, that's just the way it is. You are God alone from before time began. You are on your throne. You are God alone. And right now, in the good times and bad, you are on your throne. You are God alone. You are God. Before time began, you are on your throne, you are God alone, and right now, in the 
good times and bad You are on your throne You are God alone You're unchangeable You're unchangeable You're unshakable You're unstoppable That's who you are You're unchangeable you're unshakable, you're unstoppable, that's who you are. Yes, Lord. You're unchangeable, you're unshakable, you're unstoppable, that's who you are. You are God alone from before time began. In the good times and bad, you are on your throne. You are God alone. You're unchangeable. You're unchangeable. You're unshakable. You're unstoppable. That's who you are. You're unchangeable. You're unshakable. You're unstoppable, that's who you are. You are God alone, from before time began. You are on your throne, you are God alone. And right now, in the good times and bad, you are on your throne, you are God alone. Hallelujah, Lord. Praise you, God. Praise you, Lord. Father God in heaven, we thank you for the marvelous life-transforming life revelation of who you are. That you have given to us and that is the only one true living loving God how wondrous it is that you choose to grant us glimpses of your magnificent glory that is radiant in holiness every time we worship you and today Lord continue to minister in our presence not just in here but to those who's uh, reached by this sight May your presence touch each and every one, O oh Lord, who listens, who watches, O oh God. Reveal to them who you really are. And that is the God Almighty who created the heavens and the earth, who has dominion, who, has, who is sovereign, who is in control of all, all, of all things, O oh God, who's merciful, who's loving, who's gracious. We thank you. Continue to be with us, O oh God. We praise your holy name. In Jesus' name, amen. So as we um, finish our worship, I just want to welcome our, uh, one of our speakers from today. And um, he's going to be coming in to give us an inspiration of what the Sunday should be, be like and what our following week will be like. And so as we set ourselves and as we um, listen to the motivation and the inspiration that Pastor Benny will be coming to say to us, let's welcome him with an applause in our own homes. Praise God. Good afternoon, everyone. And uh, good afternoon, good morning for our friends from the uh, United States in uh, North America, South America, Australia. There's a lot of people who are watching right, us right now. And also, good evening for those friends that are uh, watching right now from the Philippines. And obviously, for those who are watching here from Europe, good afternoon. I hope and I believe that today, you're going to receive a wonderful blessings from the Lord. Amen? Every time that we're going to spend, you know, praising God and listening to the Word of God, you will be 
rewarded accordingly. Amen? So for those who worship with us today, just stay tuned because uh, the best is yet to come. And today we're going to be blessed to hear the word and the message of the, of the Lord na ibibigay po sa atin. And uh, by a man of God, one of our fellow uh, uh, servants here, one of our fellow uh, disciples and uh, workers, a faithful man of God, for us to deliver the message of the Lord that will surely bless each and every one of you. Kapatid, kung nakikinig ka ngayon, huwag mong patayin, huwag ka maglipat ng channel, ng Facebook page, because the blessings is about to come in your household today. At welcome po natin for the messenger of the Word of God for this afternoon. Welcome po natin si Brother Manny Kotekson, one of the elders of the Passion Church UK. Brother Manny? Thank you, Pastor. Bawal na po, Mr. Pastor. Okay? Uh, wherever you are, we greet you, the Passion Church greet you, and we are blessed that you're able to share your time with us. It may be afternoon, morning, evening, in your part of the world, but we are glad and we are happy that you are with us. Thank you, and in behalf of Passion Church, we are blessed that you're able to share your time with us. We hope and I pray that whatever you hear this afternoon, it would bless you and would enrich your life, even as you serve and believe in the Lord our God, Jesus Christ. Uh, I just would like to pray before we start. Uh, just, I want you to just relax. Just sit down, whatever. Relax yourself and try to, try to be sensitive of what God is telling you through his words today. Let us pray. Father God in heaven, we thank you once again for this wonderful day. Lord, yes, the virus is still out there, but this is not a reason why we cannot worship you. Virus is not a reason why we cannot lift up our hands and worship you and honor you. You are the same God that we worship, virus or not. You are the God that doesn't change. Your love is constant. Lord, even when we fail, your love is still there for us. Thank you that you are unshakable. Thank you that you are unchangeable. Lord, this afternoon, this time, we worship you. We honor you. And Father God, my prayer is that as I speak the words, Father God, may it doesn't come from me, but I ask the help of the Holy Spirit that you would reveal something to us this time individually. Speak to our hearts and may we get something. May we, we, we see a glimpse of who you really are, your power and your might in our lives. Lord, speak to each one of us. Open our hearts and open our minds that we may understand you and we may know the life that you want us to live. Father God, thank you for your great love. Thank you that we can honor you and we can, we can praise you despite ourselves. Lord, we humble our hearts. We ask for your presence. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. First question I would like to ask everyone is, how are you coping? It's been weeks of lockdown, quarantine. Maybe some of you have been, uh, Sister Luz, I've heard this morning that it's been two months that she hasn't been out. So how are we coping with this lockdown? I, I know if we listen to the news, we're beginning to see glimpse of light that uh, lockdown will be eased up soon. And I just wonder, what, what, what kind of life would we have after the lockdown? Are we the same? Or have we learned something? Because I'd, li I'd like to quote Bishop Uriel in one of his teachings that the lockdown is God uh, resetting everyone. Everyone is affected, even the children and up to the adults, because God is resetting something in our lives. So I hope that after the lockdown, whenever it is, we would be able to gain something from the lockdown. We would be able to hear something and learn something from what God is telling us throughout this crisis. My topic this afternoon is about life in hope. Life in hope. 
there is life in hope. Whatever, seasons, whatever season in life you are facing now, I want to tell you that God is saying that there is hope. And in this hope, you can have life. I will be reading from, from the Bible the text both from Old Testament. I have two texts, both from Old Testament and from the New Testament. The Old Testament is in Psalms chapter 42, verse 5. I shall be reading it in the New King James Version. It says, Why are you cast? Why are you downcast, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. I'd like to, uh, to, to emphasize on that verse, hope in God. Do not be disquieted. Do not be cast down. God is asking you to hope in God. And the one in New Testament, in Romans chapter 15, verse 13, I shall be reading in the new NLT, New Living Translation. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Keywords there, God of hope. So we have a God that is full of hope. We have a God that longs to give us hope. Whatever situation you are in, we have a God of hope. Okay? So there is life in hope. Uh, I just would like to, to differentiate how we understand hope ordinarily and what is the biblical meaning. What is God is telling us when he said, hope in me. Ordinarily, when we express hope, we are expressing uncertainty. We even have this, this habit like crossing fingers. Yeah, when we, wish something, when we hope something to happen, we cross our fingers. So ordinarily, the world, the world expresses hope with uncertainty. That, that is how we are being taught. We are not certain. It, it, may, it, may, it may not happen. But in the biblical context, biblical hope not only desires something good for the future, it not only expects it to happen, but it is confident that it will happen. That is the biblical context of hope. That is the hope that God wants us to understand, the hope that God wants to give to us. That we are confident, we are certain that what we hope for will happen. Okay, so it, it, it's it's quite different from what we what we learn from the world, what we learn from outside. That hope is may happen or may not happen. But in the Bible, the hope that God would like to give us is we are certain, we are confident that what we hope for will happen. Okay, the next thing I'd like, I'd like to to give you is. In the Bible, hope is a reservoir of emotional strength. We can draw strength from our hope. We can draw strength, whatever situation, whatever troubles or trials we are facing, with the hope that God gives us, we can draw strength from it. It is our emotional reservoir. There is always strength. There is always hope in every situation that we face in. So do not... Again, I would like to read Psalm 42, verse 5. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted? Hope in God. The psalmist is saying, do not be discouraged. Do not be downcast. It is clear, hope in God. There is hope in God. There is life in hope in God. And if, if we think, I mean, I don't know, if, if you go to work, you may meet people that just by looking at them, just by looking at their eyes, they, they, they are, sorry, you, you do not see hope. No, I, mean, I, I even have a workmate that he's just so tired of working. He, it's just like, I've been, keeping, I've been doing this all, all years of my life. And I do not see anything that will happen new. What a pity. 
Because this is not what God wants you to have. This is not how God wants you to live your life. He wants you to live your life with hope. God is abundant of hope. This is one of the best gifts that God can give you. If you are in God, there is always hope. No one is beyond God's grace. No one is beyond God's love. There is always hope in God. So there is life in hope. There is joy in hope. And there is purpose in hope. It's just, uh, just sad that uh, the world, if we go out of the world, if we do not have hope in our hearts, it is a fearful and it is an unsatisfying place to live. Without hope in this world, there is a reason to be scared. There is a reason to be fearful. But that is not what God is saying. Because apart from hope in heaven, our world is without cause for peace. Our world is without cause of celebration. And our world is without cause of joy. So there is only hope if we are in God. Okay. So hope is to be the foundation of all our decisions. It is supposed to be the foundation of our emotions and the foundation of our pursuits. When we hope, we have the courage, we have the courage to make decisions. If we have hope, we have the courage to pursue our dreams. Because hope fills us with joy in the midst of trial and perseverance in the midst of failure. I would like to say it again. I think it's in your screen. Hope fills us with joy in the midst of trial and perseverance in the midst of failure. With hope, we can have peace in trouble, joy in persecution, and steadfastness when it seems nothing can go our way. So hope is there for us even in the midst of trial. Hope is there for us in the midst of failure. Even if we fail, failure does not disappoint, does not define us when we are in God. Because we have hope that our failure would turn into good. Because God can turn it into good. If our hope is in God, even if we fail, we still have hope. Again, hope, hope fills us with joy. Hope fills us with peace. And this is the gift that God wants to give to you. The hope that fills you with joy and the hope that fills you with peace. Remember in Romans 15 verse 13, it says, He is the God of hope that would, that would fill you with peace and joy. Okay, placing our hope in heaven secures the treasures of our hearts with our Heavenly Father for all eternity. Placing our hope in heaven. It gives us security if our hope is in heaven, if our hope is in God. But in contrast, when we treasure the things of the world, that which we accumulate, those things will pass away as quickly as it came. So the question now I would like to ask you is, where do you place your hope? Is it in the things that you have acquired? Is it in the money that you have in your bank? Is it in your house, in your cars? Do you place your hope in those material things? Remember, those things can go quickly as it came. But if you put your hope in God, you can be secure. There is security in putting your hope in God. So, again, the question, where have you set your hope? And where do the treasures of your heart lie? In Jesus, we have been afforded an anchor of hope. Jesus is our living hope. There is no other hope that we can afford to place our hope onto. Everything that we have will vanish. Everything that we have acquired will soon be over, will soon be gone. But our hope, if our hope is in Jesus, He is there. Remember the song we have, said, we have sung in the worship. He is unchangeable. He is unshakable. So, it is just... what. I don't, it is just, I, I hope you find it in your heart 
to, to put your hope in God. Because He is the only one that doesn't change. He is the only one that is constant. Whatever happens to you, God is always there and you can always hope in Him. Now, I would like to, I, I hope you, you, you get the message that we can only hope in God. If our hope is firmly secure in God, then we cannot be shaken. Okay? If our hope is in God. Now, that you already have hope. You already, now as a child of God, you already receive the, the gift of hope that he has for you. Now, what shall we do with this hope? No? Because this hope that has been freely given to us was not meant to be solely contained within us. In Tagalog, I don't know if there are English speakers that are listening to us. Hindi lang para sa atin ang hope na ito. Yeah? This hope is not meant to be solely contained within us. As believers, we are called to share our hope with the lost and hopeless world. So this is our task now. Yes, we, we already have hope in our lives. We are full of hope because we have Jesus. We have God. Now we need to share this hope to the lost, to the hopeless world. This is our task now. We are called to hope for a better life for those around us. So let us share this hope that is in us. Let us not just contain this hope in ourselves because the, the, the gift that is given to us is meant to be shared with other people. Again, as I've said earlier, even at our workplace, you can see people that are losing hope. I even see one clip in, in Facebook, a PhD graduate, an intellectual, but she was crying because she was scared of COVID-19. She said, I still have a lot to do. I don't want to die. But she felt she is losing hope because there is no cure for COVID-19. She felt hopeless. Uh, what a shame. Yeah? If, again, we, we need to share the hope that we have received from God, we need to share it with other people. Again, it is not just meant for us. This hope in God is part of the gospel. It's part of the good news that God wants us to share with other people. Again, let us not just contain it to ourselves. He has chosen us, his children, to save, to share that message of hope. We, God's chosen children, are called to share that message of hope. We can give hope. We can encourage others who are in the verse of losing, who are in the verse of giving up. I mean, we should be the light. We should be the source of, of inspiration because of the hope that we have. Our life has been transformed from being lost and lifeless to being filled with the powerful hope of the gospel. No one is hopeless. No one is beyond the saving grace of Jesus. And God is calling us to love others enough to share with them the reality of his love in both word and deed, that they might have hope in God. Again, I say, God is calling us to love others and share them that they have hope in God. Again, I would like to emphasize that in God, no one is hopeless and no one is beyond the saving grace of Jesus. No amount of money no friends and no politician can save us from the destruction of sin and from a hopeless state. The only hope the world has is Jesus, the truth of God's unconditional love and, un and unmerited grace is the only source of hope and joy this world has. So God's unconditional love and his unmerited grace is our source of hope and our source of joy. So before, I, I just would like you to do something with this hope that we're talking about. Because this is a free gift from God. No? And, and maybe during the week, as we, as we face our day, as we face our battles, as we face our situations, I would like us to reflect on the hope that we have in Jesus. No? Think of the hope that, 
God has given you. Think of the hope that fills you with joy and with peace. Reflect on those things because these are gifts from God that cannot be paid. These are gifts from God that He longs to share with you. Okay? So reflect on the hope that you have in Jesus. And the next thing, after reflecting on the hope that you have in Jesus, I would like to ask you to ask God that who around you, who among your friends needs hope today? Open your eyes. There are people around you that needs hope. After receiving the hope from God, share it. There are people that needs hope. That there are people that needs to be encouraged. And then ask the Holy Spirit to help you place your hope in heaven and how you can share the message of hope. Okay? So th three things I would like you to think this week. Reflect on the hope that you have received. The next one is ask God who among those around you needs to be given hope. And then ask the help of the Holy Spirit to always keep your hope in God. Okay? And, and how you can share this hope. Now, uh, I would like to share you some things because there are lessons that we need to learn from hope. No? The, the hope that, the, the biblical hope that we are we're talking about. The hope that we are certain that it will happen. There are certain lessons that we need to learn from hope. Number one is, hope never gives up. I am just reminded of the story of Hannah, you know, the mother of Samuel. She never gave up. No, even amidst persecution and she was being ridiculed because she has no child, she was barren, but she never gave up his hope. She keeps on praying. We can never give up hope. It is the fuel that can move us along one day at a time. Yeah? We can never give up hope if we are in God. It is the hope that is in God, that is in us, that propels us, that drives us to go on living our lives daily. The moment you give your desire to the Lord, your hope will be made new. Okay? The moment you, you, you give your desire to the Lord, your hope will be made new. So one characteristic of hope that we need to have, that we need to learn is it never gives up. Hope never gives up. The next lesson that we need to learn from hope, lesson number two is hope doesn't always make sense. Hope doesn't always make sense. How was Hannah treated while she was crying, while she was praying? The people around her thought she was drunk. Even the priest Eli thought she was drunk. No? So sometimes, sometimes it, doesn't, it doesn't make sense. When the stakes are against you, when you can see a glimmer of what you've been praying for day and night, hope can seem like a silly idea. Like, wh wh why do I keep on hope? I, I don't receive an answer anyway. I mean, I, I, I keep on, I, it just makes me discouraged. I've been praying day and night. What does it make sense to keep on praying? What does it, why, why does it make sense to keep on hoping? But maybe during those times, you are tempted to think that you need to be realistic. Sometimes, sometimes you think that I, I need to be, to, to be real with what is happening to me. No? Your, your faith has diminished. Because of what is happening. You, you might think, that, oh, okay, I, sh I, sh I better go for the next best thing. Because what I've been asking is not going to happen anyway. Even when the odds are against you, God can do what seems impossible. Okay? Even when the odds are against you, God can do what seems impossible. So if you think that it doesn't make sense in what you are hoping something, just remember. Remember Hannah. The odds are against her. But God can do what seems impossible. There is nothing impossible with God. Keep on hoping. God can do things that are beyond your imagination, that are beyond your thoughts. Sometimes our dedication to our calling won't make sense to others. Have you experienced people laughing at you because you are sharing the word of God? Have you experienced ridiculing you because what you are talking doesn't make sense? 
It is not it is not proven by science, they say. Your faith is not being proven by science. You, you're being ridiculed because of your faith. So your so again, sometimes our dedication to our calling won't make sense to others. They may think we look crazy to keep following after God when we are seemingly being unanswered, when our prayers ourselves are being unanswered. So there are people who would think that you're crazy because of your faith. But keep on hoping. Yeah? Keep praying for God's best. Cry out to the only one that can send you your answered prayer at the right and perfect time. Again, cry out to the only one. Do not give up with your hope. Cry out to the only one that can send you your answered prayer at the right and perfect time. You never know who is watching you as you pray. Okay? Keep on praying. Keep on hoping. Okay? Even if it doesn't make sense. I know it is, it is against what the world is telling us. That if, if it doesn't make sense, why do it? But the Bible says, even if it doesn't make sense, if your hope is in God, someday, at the right time, right and perfect time, it will all make sense. The third one is, hope can give us a platform. What does this mean? When we choose to openly praise our Lord in the midst of our sense of uncertainty, we will truly be lights on a hill. If we our hope can give us a platform. No? Even in the midst of uncertainty, if we keep on doing, if we keep on believing, if we keep our faith, then someday we will be lights on a hill. No? Just keep on, just keep on hoping. Because other people will be encouraged. Other people, other people will see us keep on believing, even if the odds are against us. But someday they would realize that yes, he or she was right in believing in his God. When we are brave to share the ups and downs in the waiting, our pain can become our platform. God is able to change our pain into victory. God is able to change our troubles into a life of faith. And this will encourage others. This will, our hope will give us a platform for others to see that our God is unchangeable. Our God is unshakable. The fourth one is hope opens your heart. We met people that are bitter, realistic, or just plain tired in life. For sure, they are not pleasant to be around. But when we take our, when we take our eyes off ourselves for a minute, we can look around and see others in similar or, or in worse situations that we are. If we look at him, if we look at this kind of people, let, let, let's take our eyes off from ourselves for a minute and we will see that they are in similar or worse situation than ours. So it will open our hearts to how they are suffering. If you are not just too focused on yourself, God will open your eyes, God will open your heart to the suffering of others. And this is when you can share the hope that you have in God. Now, if you see this kind of people, when we receive what we long or prayed for, can we receive it with open hands and hearts to how God will want to use that blessing? After praying for something and we receive the things that we prayed for, can we assure ourselves that after we receive the things that we have prayed for, that we can give it to God and use it as a blessing? Sometimes people would ask, would say, I, I, I don't receive what I prayed for. The, the, maybe, we, maybe we need to check our hearts. Are we ready that when we receive the, the, the things that we prayed for, we will be able or we are willing to give it to God to use it as a blessing. Just like Hannah, after God answered her prayer, after she got pregnant, or even before she got pregnant, she promised that she will give Samuel to God. The question for us now is after we received, or we may be, we may be praying for something, 
Are we able to say God honestly that God, if you give me this thing, I will give it to you back as a blessing for other people? Huh? And they can all be used for his glory. So set your mind on God, on what God could do through you and your answered prayers and wait to see how he wants to surprise you. So we, we may, God may answer our prayers. God will answer our prayers. And if we receive our answered prayer, let us not forget that it is God who gave it to us. Let us give it back to God and see how he will surprise you if you give it back to him. The last point that we need to learn from hope is it will take us to eternity. Hope takes us to eternity. As much as I'd like to tell you that everything we hope for will come to pass, or as much as I'd like to, to tell you that everything we hope for will come through, it is not true. Yeah? There are, there will be hopes and requests that will not see reality on this side of heaven. Let us be, let us be aware of that. That there may be prayers that cannot be answered on this part of heaven in our lifetime. But having faith in God, having faith that God is leading us along his best path can instill peace in our souls to accept what he wants to give us. So keep hope alive in your heart while here on earth. You may not receive what you're praying for, but keep that hope alive in your heart. All the pains, the waiting, and unanswered prayers are not in vain. They will make sense when we are finally made new and back home with our Lord. Anything that we hope that we cannot receive here on earth, someday it will make sense why God did not give us what we prayed for. So just keep on hoping. Keep your hope alive in your heart. Again, there is nothing beyond God's ability. Keep on hoping. Keep on believing. Keep that faith burning in your heart. God longs. God longs to tell you. Keep on believing in me. Keep on hoping. I am here. Put your hope in God. Secure your hope in God and you will be secured. Be blessed by hoping in God. Again, I just would like to remind you, I, I, I've said this earlier, uh, just as just maybe a challenge or something for you to, to do during the week. You know? Again, reflect on the hope that you have received from God. These are priceless. The gift of hope is priceless. Reflect what hope God has given you. Just the hope of, of being with him after our life here. And having Jesus as our living hope. Reflect on those things. And then for, for an application of what you have received from God, open your eyes, open your hearts for those people who are needing hope. God placed them in your lives because God wants you to do something for them. Do not be hard-hearted. Sympathize with others and share to them the hope that God has given you. And ask for the help of the Holy Spirit to help you share this message of hope. Okay, I hope we are blessed this afternoon. I hope God's message to you is clear. There is no reason to give up hope because our God is a God of hope. Keep on hoping, keep on believing. God bless you all. Maraming salamat, Brother Manny, for a wonderful message. It's all about hope. Kapatid, bago tayo magwakas, and I would like to pray for you Okay, wherever you are right now, maybe as you're listening and you're watching this, this message, you're saying to yourself, well, pastor, maybe the Lord is speaking to me right now. Maybe you are in a situation that, that you really need and exactly what you're needing to hear right now is the hope that comes from God. Kapatid, gusto kong sabihin sa iyo sa oras na ito, Sa mundo na ito, maraming sources ang hope. I, I feel blessed listening to the Word of God, you know, yung binigay sa atin ni, ni, ni Brother Manny. 
Alam mo kung bakit kung minsan nauubusan ka ng hope? Kasi yung hope mo galing sa mundo eh. The hope that you're having right now is the hope that is that is being provided by the world. Pero ang sabi ng Panginoon sa Isaiah 40.31, napakaganda nung sinabi ng Panginoon. And I would like you to read this thing to you right now. Ang sabi doon sa Isaiah 40.31, 40 uh, But those, those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Alam mo, maraming kristyano, maraming nananampalataya kay Lord, maraming naniniwala kay Lord. Alam mo, yung hope nila na uubos lagi. Nauubusan lagi. Maybe at the end of the day. Maybe at the end of the week. Una nagsimula ka, punong-puno ka ng pag-asa. But there will be a time that your hope will run out. You know what? When your hope run out, despair and frustration will walk over us. Maraming tao, limited yung hope. Pero ang sabi dito sa Isaiah 40.31, But those who hope in the Lord shall renew their strength. Kapatid, tinatatanungin kita, nauubos ba yung pag-asa mo because of this crisis? Nauubos ba? Nalilimitahan ba? Na para bang kung ilalagay mo ito in one container, it's almost empty right now. Kasi hindi mo na alam. Kapatid, try to reflect on this thing. Maybe your hope is not coming from God. Maybe your hope is coming from someone else. Maybe your hope is coming from something else. Hindi sa Panginoon. Kaya nahirap, nahirap ka. Kaya nauubosan ka. Kaya napapagod ka. Kapatid, sa panonood mo ngayon, God is bringing something special in your life right now. Gusto ng Panginoon, bigyan ka niya lang mata. Because our hope shall give us eyes so we can see the stars in the midst of darkness. You hope ang magbibigay sa iyo ng pakiramdam so that you can see the calmness in the midst of fruitlessness. Kung iniisip mong, Pastor, nahihirapan na ako. Parang gusto ko nang sumuko or maybe sumuko ka na at one point. Kapatid, maybe yung hope mo galing sa tao. Maybe yung hope mo galing sa bagay. Maybe yung hope mo galing sa lakas mo, sa yaman mo, sa galing mo, sa talino mo. Pero ang sabi ng Isaiah 40.31, For those who hope in the Lord shall renew their strength. Huwag mong hanapin sa iba. You know, I, I feel blessed when I was hearing the word of God nung binigyan sa atin ni Brother Manny. Huwag mong hanapin sa iba yung, yung pag-asa mo. Kasi si Lord lang ang pwede magbigay ng pag-asa mo. Sa aking pagwawakas, maybe you ask it to yourself, but pastor, Paano ako magkakaroon ng isang pag-asa na alam kong si Lord ang pinanggagalingan? You know what? Right now, pwede mong isuko yung buhay mo. Alisin mo yung mga baggages at mga luggages sa buhay mo. Sasabihin mo, Father God, today I would like to offer my life unto you. You are the source of hope. You are the source of everything that I need. Kapatid, I'm going to pray kung gusto mong isuko yung buhay mo at maramdaman mo yung pag-asa na kay Kristo mo lamang matatagpuan, with humility in your heart right now, I would like you to stand up. I don't know, I, I know that I, I'm not seeing you right now. It is only God who's seeing you right now. Kung gusto mong isuko yung buhay mo sa Panginoon, alam mo maraming nanonood ngayon, nararamdaman ko deep down in my spirit right now. Alam mo maraming tao ngayon, pagod na pagod. Hallelujah, Jesus. Maraming tao ngayon, pagod na pagod kasi nauhuubos na yung pag-asa nila. Lord, baka maaaring another week, my hope will be completely run out and, 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 and dried up. Kapatid, kung sa isip mo, kinakausap pa ng Diyos ngayon, gusto kong tumayo ka. Gusto kong manalangin sa'yo. Gusto kong hanapin mo sa mula sa oras na ito, yung pag-asa kay Kristo lamang. Kung gusto mong tanggapin ang Diyos sa iyong buhay, at pagharihin siya so that the 
the overflowing hope of God will be experienced by you right now. Kapatid, wag kang mahiya. Maybe you are with your friends, with your family. This is your moment with God. Kung gusto mong isuko yung buhay mo sa Panginoon at maranasan mo yung kapangyarihan na pinangako niyang pag-asa, isang pag-asa na hindi mauubos dumating man ang panahon ng kadiliman ng paghihirap at pagsubok at karamdaman, isang pag-asa sapagkat si Lord ang lagi magre-renew nito. Kapatid, as you stand, standing right now, gusto kong ipikit mo yung mata mo. Huwag mong isipin yung katabi mo. Gusto kong ipikit mo yung mata mo. Gusto kong itaas mo yung kami mo sa Diyos sa oras na ito. God is going to meet you right now where you're standing right now. Mananalangin ako ng panalangin ng pagtanggap sa Diyos. All you have to do is to repeat after me. Just close your eyes in humility. Lift up your hands to the Lord as you make this decision na gusto mong isuko yung buhay mo sa Panginoon. I'm going to lead you in a prayer. Ariin mo na ang panalangin na ito, panalangin mo at hindi ko panalangin. Kapatid, this is your moment with God. Huwag mo tigasan yung puso mo, this is your moment with God. I'm going to pray all you have to do with humbleness, with faith, just repeat after me. Hallelujah, Jesus. Father God in heaven, Come on, repeat after me. Father God in heaven, today, Lord, I admit that I cannot fight this battle on my own. I admit that I am a sinner full of flaws and weaknesses. I deserve nothing but the punishment of hell. But thank you, Lord, because of your great love for me, You have shown your mercy and grace. You have given your only son from heaven to earth to die on my behalf because of your great love. Today, Lord, I'm making a decision. I confess all my sins. Forgive me. Cleanse me with the blood of Jesus. As I confess, I surrender my life unto you. I invite you to come into my life to become my Lord, my Savior, my God, and my Father. Start to rule in me and reign in me right now so I could have a gift of eternal life and the hope that I can sustain that I can be empowered, that I can be victorious, not only for me, but only for my family. Thank you for the salvation. Thank you for your love and your mercy. In Jesus' name. You can bring, you can put your hands down. I would like to pray for you right now. Hallelujah, Jesus. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I pray, Lord, for everyone who's watching us right now. Father God, by the precious blood of Jesus and by the power of your Holy Spirit, Lord, Lord, I pray, Lord, renew the hope that we have in you. Renew, O oh God, the belief, Lord, that one day, in your perfect time, Lord God, Lord, you're gonna let us to come out from this crisis not only that we're going to come out, but we're going to come out victoriously with the hope of God that life will be even better. Kapatid, magiging better pa ang buhay mo after this crisis because God is doing something in your life right now. And Father God, as we lift our hands unto you right now, Father God, bless each and every family. For those who are sick, that may the healing of God be upon you. For those who are having the symptoms of whatever kind of viruses, Lord, by your strife, we are healed. By your mercy, we have been restored, O oh God. Lord, for those who are experiencing difficulties in their financial things, O oh God, Lord, I'm praying that you show your great mercy and your provisions in their lives, O oh God. And today, we would like to lift up all the name of the, all, we would like to lift all these things in the name of Jesus, Father God. 
and we bring you all the praises and all the glory in Jesus' name. God bless you all and have a wonderful day. God bless you. Thank you, Tito Mang, for such an encouraging uh, encouraging message and thank you then for Pastor for encouraging us with uh, with that wonderful prayer. Um, guys, if you could just turn your Bibles to Luke 6, uh, verse 38. It says here on the NIV version, Give, and it will be given to you a good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Will be poured into your lap, for with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Brothers, sisters, anything that you give unto the Lord is not something given in vain. So if um, you would like to give your tithes and your offering, please um, send it to the bank account that is shown on the, in your screen currently. Um, definitely, as, as I said, um, it is not something, it is not a waste. You know, it's, um, uh, it, a tithing is a command from the Lord and um, it will be you know, pressed down, shaken together, and it will be poured into your lap overflowing blessings all right so and then if you would like to join us in the following uh weeks with our um with our activities that we do through zoom and facebook live please refer to the schedule on your screen right now um on tuesdays especially on tuesdays we have gospel and friends where you can invite your family your friends to um, our zoom meeting and there we can discuss with uh you about any questions with the lord or any questions that you have any sort of um uh, things just if you just want a friend, uh, if you just want some co friendly conversation about God, that's the place to be. We have various life groups, uh, Bible studies, and whatnot, um, and may many more events coming coming through in the following weeks. Um, please don't hesitate to contact us on the following social media platforms: um, Passion Church IG on Instagram, Passion Church UK on Facebook, and Passion Church UK on YouTube. And um, so please um, don't forget to contact us. Um, if you prayed the prayer of salvation earlier, please, 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 I'm asking you, message us so that we can have a conversation to you on how you can continue your uh, new life with God. All right? So without further ado, I would like to ask um, for our worship team to come up here and we can have our victory worship. For today thank you for the new hope and thank you for the word of wisdom that we have applied today and as we sing this victor worship and as we've been reminded that the hope is in the lord and the glory is definitely yours lord and the hope is in you father god hallelujah lord jesus blessing on the strength and power alone and now forever I love this world can never stop there is no one like our God reaching down to touch the broken mercy breaking through this moment faithful is the one who saves worthy is your name
inside you There has never been anyone, anything like you Nobody beside you There has never been anyone, anything like you Nobody beside you There has never been anyone, anything like you Nobody beside you There has never been anyone, anything like you God, have a blessed Sunday, everyone, and we look forward from communicating with you with our IG and Facebook page and YouTube page. God bless, God bless. everyone. Bye.